So the Mini 3, the Matrice 30, the latest info coming right up. What's up, all you drone maniacs? Welcome back to Drone Logic for your drone and tech related info for my point of view. So, there's been some information leaked about two drones being released by DJI, one we knew of and the one we didn't. So, I'm gonna start with the, the Mini 3. We all knew that the Mini 3 was coming, it's just highly rumored to be released and, and next month. So it's basically coming, it's here. Now there was a picture that was released of the box of the of the Mini 3 coming with a small controller. And I thought that this was fake. And the reason why I thought it was fake is because of, I looked at the drone and it, it appears that someone photo took a picture of the back end of a, a rear picture of a Mini 3 or Mini 2 and Photoshopped it. Cause it didn't, you know, the thing that kind of tipped me off was how the legs unfolded the arms unfolded well the arms unfolded appear to unfold according to the picture looks to unfold different from any or uh, opposite from other mavics and in it in the fact that according to the picture the front arms fold under the drone you know and the rear ones will fold straight out that's opposite of, of any other mavic we've seen so that's why i I basically thought that it was fake. Well, as it turns out, it actually looks to be real. There was a video release of someone basically holding the chassis of the supposedly chassis of the ministry. So let's go ahead and look at that video. So looking at this video, we can see that this is most certainly the chassis for the picture of the mini tree that we saw. We look at from the rear, you see there's an opening in which a battery can be, a battery basically can be inserted from the back like the like any other of the minis. But the, if you look at the front of it, you at, at the bottom of each side, you'll notice there are three holes cut out. I mean, two holes cut out or a hole cut out on each side. And this is where the front arms are going to uh, attach to the chassis. In that case, it it basically unfolds from the bottom. So it look is appearing that the picture that we saw is looking to be true, and that chassis basically legitimizes it. Now, only thing I can say for this is that if this is the case, it's really no big deal. It's just something that you're gonna have to get used to. You know, just muscle memory. You know, if, if you're used to unfolding Mavics, you're just going to adjust how you do that now. But really, no, I mean, no big deal. It also, it's reported by DJI, which is clearly can be seen based upon the picture that the gimbal can rotate nine degrees straight up, which is actually a good feature. I don't know how often it will be used, but it's, it's just a feature that's there if you need it especially if you you're trying to inspect something that's above you then you can do that now something that only really the parrot and Nafi really did there's no other drone that really where the gimbal was able to pan like 100 percent i mean 90 percent straight up only the parrot and Nafi was was able to do that well it looks like the mini tree would do the same now what i'm really hoping for is for that small controller to be the base controller and the reason why I want this to be their standard controller is because it's just going to make the price of it to go down significantly because we know the small controllers are they're just ridiculously expensive and that's only because there's only so many produce but if you if this is going to be your standard controller and you produce so many of them then the price is going to go down significantly and this is the reason why they're that RC231 is you can get a, you can find a brand new one you know on eBay or Amazon for under under 100 bucks it's because they produce so many because that's their standard controller so moving on to the next drone now this is something new this is a drone 
that people are calling the Matrice 30. And the reason why, because it has Matrice written all over it. I mean, this thing looks like a Matrice. It basically has sensors all around it. It has, you know, a light beacon on top. It has the, the you no know, two batteries where you can, you know, hot swap and basically reduce the downtime. Like I said, this drone here is reported by DJI to be for search and rescue, but it's definitely an industrial drone because it looks just like a Matrice. It's built like a Matrice. I'm pretty sure it's going to have an IP rating, something that the Mavic 2 Advanced you know, Mavic 2 Advanced uh, Enterprise doesn't have, it's not, it doesn't have an IP rating. But one thing that stands out to me is that, uh, to me that this drone seems to be marketed toward, um, it seems to be kind of an intermediary between the, the Mavic 2 Enterprise Advanced and the Matrice 300. Because if you look at the price range there, that's, that's a significant price range. I mean, when you consider the, that the Mavic 2 Advance, you know, Enterprise Advance is like 6,500 bucks right now. Whereas in the Matrice 300 and at H2, I mean, H20T camera, both together, it, it'll run you about $24,000. So that's a, a significant drone. I think that this drone is going to be an intermediary. I'm, I'm guessing it's going to be a price range somewhere in between there. And this thing is, most, I think, more than likely it's going to be competing against the the Skydio X2. This is the their military and search and rescue drone that Skydio has put out. And it's in a, in a price range of about $14,000. So I'm, I'm expecting this particular drone, whatever it is called, to be about, I, I, I guess, around the same price range. Maybe a little bit more because I see... It also comes with the that DJI small controller that we saw the big the the bigger one that that DJI it was announced that it was going to be for their you know industrial type drones where it appears that it's going to be released with that controller but I'm expecting the price range to be perhaps maybe somewhere competing with the Skydio X2 and this honestly this is of great interest to me. Because I, as I've said before, I want to eventually get into the commercial side. I want to eventually, you know, start doing mapping and surveying and, you know, construction updates and, and, and so on and so forth. And you need to have the uh, equipment to do it. And as of right now, you know, you, there's not a whole lot of drones out there that's within a decent price range. Well, this is going to add another drone to the equation. You know, for those people who need more than what the Mavic 2 uh, Enterprise Advance can give, but not necessarily looking to jump into a Matrice 300, where now we have a, something else, a me intermediary. And I, that's basically the role that this drone is going to fulfill. So, again, allegedly, uh, reportedly, DJI is supposed to be having a a basically some type of event going on on the 21st I believe is that to either the day or tomorrow so I'm definitely looking into that definitely highly anticipating with that uh, with this event going to be if it does happen but I'm, I'm guessing more than likely it's going to be the release of the the mini 3 but here's looking forward to what's being released and when there's more updates Again, I'll be here making videos on them. Anyway, y'all, this is my two cents on this. Can't wait to see what DJI has to offer. And as always, y'all, until next time.